Hi there everybody, today I'm going to show you guys a little trace that we use for catching smaller sharks in our coastline. During a certain time of the year we get small little grey sharks between 4 and 6 kilos um, coming along our coast and it's great fun to catch these sharks but I often see the guys using way too heavy steel traces and way too big hooks and stuff to try and target these little sharks. They're quite finicky sometimes and then you have to scale down. Down in the Eastern Cape they get the same little grey sharks as well as little bronze whalers and this same little trace will work well there. So we call it a grey shark trace. Basically it's this little lightweight trace to help you catch these little sharks just for the fun of it. And especially when they, they're full of nonsense, they don't really want to eat the big heavy stuff. This trace works very well. All right, so the makeup of the trace, we're gonna have a short piece of carbon or nylon coated steel. You don't want to go too heavy on this. Like I said, this is a trace for finicky conditions when the fish are feeding difficult and they put off by heavy thick steel. So I use 60 to 90 pound steel trace. It's nice and soft. It's got a bit of movement in the water and your bait itself you can present in a much better way. How this trace can be made up, we have in our front section to our hook, we have a small piece of the 60 or 90 pound steel and then from the end of the steel we're going to have a piece of nylon to our swivel and that all helps with movement of the bait and it also helps you get more distance when casting so you haven't got this heavy steel trace you're throwing. Because it's smaller sharks they four to six kilos you want to use a nice small size hook five to seven oh depending on the type of hook you're using for this exercise i'm just going to use an eight oh fusion hook that's perfect size for our sharks and our coastline i'm going to attach it to steel by just using a simple loop knot grab a hook Okay, so there's our hook. Push your steel in from the top. Grab it on that end, and we're just going to wrap our steel around the shank of the hook a few times. I normally wrap it around four to five times. Hold it with your finger. And something that's very important now. When you put your tag in through the back of the hook, is to work from the bottom up, like that. So what I'm trying to say is, you want your steel to come out towards the top of the hook. And the reason for that is very simple, it's the way the circle hook works. If your line is coming out this end here, you're not going to get the hook set. The way it is now, if a fish grabs it, the hook rolls nice and easily into the corner of the fish's mouth. So just make sure when you finish with your knot to basically take your tag and put it in from the bottom up so it ends up like that. And when you get a hook set up, you get a nice hook set with a circle hook doing its job and sitting in the scissors of the fish's mouth. Alright, so our knot's made, all we have to do this side is cut a bit of the stag end off. I always leave 5 millimeters or so at the end there just for luck. Cut it off there. And that's it, our hook's attached to our piece of steel. Okay, so the next process is we're going to add our piece of nylon to this trace. I prefer to make my steel approximately 25 centimeters you can make it longer or shorter depending on where you're fishing if you if you want to go if the conditions are very difficult and the bites very difficult and you know there's fish you can always go quite short it always helps a bit gives your bait a lot more movement but in general I'd say you make it 25 odd centimeters long cut it off a bit longer if you still got the knot to make Now we're going to grab our nylon, not too thick, I'm going to use a 0 0.75 here or 0.76 and that'll work for this trace. Alright then, to join our nylon to a steel, it's going to be a figure of eight on each side, pull them nice and tight and that's strong enough. Okay, 
area of pliers. Let knots nice and firm. Turn around, exactly the same with the nylon. So you have eight over your steel. Put it tight and then pull the two knots towards each other. And you've got to put it nice and firm to set the knot. And there you go, knot's done. Okay, so I cut this, cut off the tag ends. And there we go. So we got that little 25 centimeter piece of 60 to 90 pound steel. A circle look at the bottom, dash a nylon, and then we just determine how long we want the trace. I normally use a 1 meter to 1.1 1 .1 meter trace. All depends what you prefer. Let's make this one 1 meter. That's about a meter, and cut off a nylon there. At the end of this nylon, I put a three way swivel. One end of the swivel is going to go to your leader line, and then obviously you're going to have your sinker attached to the other end. Attach a swivel using a figure of eight again, my favorite knot. Nice and tight. Let's cut off the tag end. There we go. A very simple little trace. We call it a grey shark trace. We can small shark trace for that matter. Works like a bomb. Nice soft nylon on the end, light trace, and you can attach a nice small little bait to this, throw it nice and far. And as I say, when the fish are finicky and they're battling to bite, this normally produces a bite for you.